very hearty welcome to you all for this seminar some time back when this proposal came up i liked it and then we were thinking as to what will be the theme of this seminar because there are so many seminars workshops conferences that are held related to topics of management one thing is there that everyone wants success everyone wants to grow and therefore those subjects are the topics themes are focused on that so i was also thinking and a thought came to my mind and this is the theme live for ever richer and richer how this theme is presented uh, that only i will elaborate now here every being wants to live and live forever and wants to live happily also when someone says there is a person who is committing suicide not because he doesn't want to live but the life has become miserable for whatever reason and therefore what he is tired of is not of life but that pain and misery and suffering and therefore he wants to put an end to that he wants to live happily there was a man who had a lot of financial troubles and then he decided to commit suicide he left a note also at home that he was going to die he went to the sea shore and to his surprise he saw a brief case lying there and a curiosity arose was aroused and he he suddenly thought let me see what it is he tried to open it opened it was not locked and what he saw it was full of currencies notes valid not fake notes and no one was there at that time he thought my problems are over so he closed it picked up that briefcase and was returning home in the meanwhile the family members saw his note that he was going to die but to their surprise they again saw him coming back maybe they were little disappointed and when he came with that brief case full of money they welcomed him and he also thought why should i die now what we come to know it is not that he wanted to die it's only troubles doesn't know how to face and the problem is there and that's why he's thinking so number one thing we want to live i want to live forever everybody knows that we are born here in this world and we are going to die 
one day, but nobody wants to die. Do you know one interesting thing? People want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. And without dying, you can't go to heaven. And that's the idea comes to bring the heaven down to this earth. So that we don't have to die also and we can be in heaven. And that is possible. So one thing I want to live, I want to live forever and I want to live happily. This is very, very common. One more thing is there. Everybody wants to expand also and grow. A child also, suppose he is a younger brother, there is an elder brother. The child thinks, when will I grow? He also wants to become big quickly. Otherwise, that big brother is all the time bullying him. In age also he wants to grow. Then, the school, there also he wants to do better and better. Of course, there are some people who don't care about that. And one boy was in the school, his rank was 30th. The father said, what is your position is 30th in the class? He said, thank God there are only 30 people, students only there. Other it could have been worse also. Somebody doesn't care, but he may be interested in something else. Not necessarily the studies. So if someone is very much interested in this education and learning, or someone in sports or arts or science, music, whatever is that, that everyone wants to grow. But one common attraction that is there in everybody's mind and heart and life, the attraction of money. It is strange that all have got attraction for money, but I don't know, particularly in our country, making money is considered a sin only. <laughs> and then if somebody is rich and all that, they say, he's a filthy rich man. Why that expression comes? Many times they may be jealous, and they also want, but they can't make it. But if anybody wants to grow and make more and more, is it a sin? It cannot be considered as sin. I will tell you today, the spiritual reason for all this that I want to live forever and I want to live happily and I want to grow, because Vedanta says that you are Brahman. That thou art Tattvamasi. And do you know what is Brahma? Brahma is called Sat Chit Anand. Our nature is Ananda Swarupa. And therefore we cannot stand any sorrow in life. Our nature is eternal. And therefore we don't like the idea of death and mortality. Our Swarupa is Jnanam, therefore ignorance also is not tolerated by us. So if somebody tells me you are a fool, I don't like that. In the same way, you know, Brahma means the big. Greater and greater, that which grows. You know, Brahma itself does not grow, but that is our nature, and therefore we want to grow. That's why there is a Mumbai and there is a Bruhan Mumbai also. That Bruhat Shabda is only from, that Brahma word comes from Bruhat. So you have to grow. That's our nature. We can't stop. And the maximum attraction that people have got is for money. And there is a reason for that. There is nothing wrong in it. Or there is no sin in it. But what is that attraction that is necessary to be understood? My daily needs can be fulfilled only by money. My desire for more comforts and pleasures can be fulfilled by money. I got some passion and ambition in life. Then that also needs money. 
and i want to grow industrially then also i need money i want to become politically powerful that also depends on money and i want to start an ashram that also depends on money i have to run a brahmachari training vedanta training course that also needs money and even you want to do some charity you must have money then only you can do charity you want to do service then that also needs money so money is required at all levels at every in every field therefore attraction of money second second reason is whenever man does some work and then it is said that you will be paid per hours so so many hours i work and immediate reward i see something in my hand because whenever man does anything he wants some result and money is a tangible result so when a person gets money every day or per week or per month or whatever that work is then how much you are earning see the tangible gain of any karma is seen and that is the reason why the person in the family who is earning money then he is considered as a producer now suppose one person is there who does only social work but not earning and all that because work is all the time measured in terms of how much you are making earning bringing home and because of that money we can buy many things material goods and power also and therefore so much of attraction is there of that money now in itself there is nothing wrong because everything need uh, depends on that and if i have got that inclination to grow in my life in whichever field i grow and then even including that of wealth then also there is nothing wrong but then problem also is there and where lies the problem that we must understand when that person becomes very individualistic and very self centered and only wants whatever that wealth is there is only for himself or herself by whichever means fair or foul then the trouble begins and doesn't want to spend at all so there are people who have lot of money but they are so miser that they do not spend on themselves also and do not give to others the question of giving to someone else that the greatest pain i will tell you a very interesting humorous story i had heard in my childhood there was a miser rich person but very miser living near banaras varanasi and one day thought came to his mind to go to kashi vishwanath and to have a dip in ganga ji so he walked all the distance and after reaching there suddenly he realized that the pandas are there priests are there they will catch hold of him and they will ask him some dakshina and all that how can i give that so he said i won't go to that main ghat where all these priests are there so long distance where nobody is there there i will take bath and from here only i will do namaskar to kashi vishwanath also you know his story is very interesting lord shiva sadly thought oh this person wants to avoid some dakshina suddenly bhagwan appeared there in the form of a priest and said if without sankalpa without puja if you do this bath and other you will not get any punyam you will have to do that that man said oh the priest has come here also 
I couldn't escape. He said, on one condition, first tell me, how much is your dakshana? He said, only 50 paisa. Oh, that is too much. What too much? 50 paisa is not too much. He said, all right, on credit. You will have to come to my village and then I will give you. Bhagavan said, okay. That man thought for 50 paisa he won't come all the way. Anyway, Sankalpa was done, Puja was then he had a bath. Went home. But one day, as he was going out of his house, he suddenly saw that priest coming. Because Bhagavan, you know, it doesn't take time for him to go anywhere. So uh, he saw, suddenly he went inside his room, house. Bhagavan went there and said, I want to meet that man. The wife said, but sir, he died. Lord Shiva said, I am in charge of that department. How did he die? And I know that he is just gone inside. And when did he die? Just now. Bhagavan said, okay, I will call people to take him to the cremation. Yeah, yeah. Immediately people came, all the arrangements were done, and that one was lying. They put him on that arthi, huh? a stretcher like thing, tied him, still he so said nothing. And surprisingly, the wife also did not say anything, maybe she was happy. Because this fellow was not spending any money, money on himself or the family and nothing. They reached his cremation ground. The funeral pyre was made. He was put on that. Now Bhagavan Shiva got scared. He thought, what happened? He is not... He is ready to die? Well, he knows that he is not dead. Bhagavan created some maya. And there was some... You know, some hooting sound and people started seeing some ghost and all that. They, they ran away from there. Now only Bhagawan and that man was there. Bhagawan untied him and he said, Open your eyes. I know you are not dead. He opened one eye. He said, Lord Shiva himself is there. Lord said, You know, you are a wonderful man. I never met such a person in my life. Your bhakti to your money is unparalleled. Now I grant you a boon. What you want? Ask. He says, Bhagwan, if you are granting me the boon, please write off 50 paisa. That's all I want. Bhagavan said, Tathastu. Now such person who has got such money and if he cannot spend on himself or family also and on others, what will happen to his wealth? You know what will happen? He said, such wealth, either it will perish or it will be stolen away, or that money will be gone. And there are many people who have got lot of wealth, but they all the time remain like this. And about them we can say, they live poor and die rich. Oh, because when they are dead, so much wealth is in their name, but in their life, they all the time live like this, miserly life. What is the use of making of that type of wealth? Then the second, only concerned about himself or herself, or at the most, our only that very, very near and dear, that close family, 
in that also what is the great thing about it because for oneself every being also lives there is nothing great about it and that person is not going to live or become richer and richer you know one interesting thing one they have struck me a person who doesn't give to anyone else then the lord says you don't need more money because for yourself this is enough you don't give to anyone else but if some person gives to others then the lord says oh this person needs because i have to go on giving to him so there supply must be there so that he can go on giving the more you give more you'll get but otherwise uh, there is no need because your need is fulfilled now there is nothing more so now we see the progression i live and i live for myself and then how i will grow and become richer and richer ha, this is very interesting point what is the meaning of richer and richer it i say true even wealth wise richer and richer you will become but how now see in our life generally what we are, our mind is occupied with is preoccupied or occupied with is once we have got some ambition for one thing and we get it then generally what we do we want to more and more of the same thing in our life what we are doing is working for more and more and more and more of the same thing so i get money so i want more money more money more money if i have got political power i want more power more power and, and the absolute power and uh, whichever field that i am there the more and more of the same thing what happens is more and more of the same thing may add only numerical value to me but inner transformation will not be there i will remain the same there will not be change in me only more and more of that thing will be added on and on and on and on you must have read and heard and used this expression that in the world of rat race even if you win the race you still remain a rat because you more and more of the same thing you are eating but if you want to become richer and richer what we have to do is not more and more but also think what is higher and higher what is greater and greater than that then i will become richer and richer in the beginning i may be wanting one thing but then i should think is there anything greater than that as i said all our physical needs money and comfort pleasures growth all that what we need but is there anything more than that greater than that higher than that then you will realize there are many higher things in life they are at the level of emotions at the arts or even the intellectual levels there are greater greater ideas there they can be only satisfying now suppose there is a great musician and all his needs are already fulfilled of the money and all that and suppose someone tells him that we will give a lot of money to you but don't sing you stop his singing will he be satisfied you should ask only a singer a musician he said please don't give me any money but allow me to sing because i can't no no you can't sing <laughs> a sportsman is there i'll give you money but don't no play anymore what does it show that it is not only what we are doing is only for wealth but there is something greater than that higher and greater satisfaction is there so now what is higher and higher the two ways of looking at it higher and higher one is 
वॉट एवर आई हैव दैट इज टू बी यूज फॉर हायर एंड हायर पर्पज नंबर वन एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज सीकिंग समथिंग हायर देन दैट टू वेज आर दे सो फर्स्ट इज आई अर्न मनी वेल्थ फॉर माई सेल्फ देन आई यूज ओनली फॉर माई सेल्फ बट इज सेम मनी इज यूज फॉर ग्रेटर पर्पज नोबलर पर्पज फॉर लार्जर एंड लार्जर बेनिफिट एंड गुड ऑफ पीपल सो इट इज द सेम वेल्थ बट यूज फॉर हायर पर्पज नाउ आई गॉट एनी टैलेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट्स और म्यूजिक साइंस स्पोर्ट्स वॉट एवर इज दैट वन वन आई यूज ओनली फॉर माई सेल्फ देन आई सी वॉट सर्विस आई कैन रेंडर टू दैट आर्ट दैट स्पोर्ट एंड सो दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपुल लर्न दैट सो इट इज नॉट ओनली फॉर जस्ट अर्निंग बट इज सेम आर्ट सेम स्पोर्ट दैट इज यूज फॉर सम ग्रेटर पर्पज देन वॉट विल हैपन आई बिकम रिचर एंड रिचर so when i sing for myself that is one thing but when i sing for a cause then my satisfaction of singing is fulfilled that money will come anyway but when for it is dedicated to the greater cause the same thing then greater joy is experienced and more people are benefited by that so what i have that i use for higher purpose greater purpose then what happens i become richer and richer because i go on giving that and for using higher cause then i become richer another thing what is the higher higher than all this worldly thing is knowledge among different knowledge also the knowledge of the absolute truth is the highest and therefore if you see all the history entire history and all our puranas also all the kings and maharajas chakravarti samrat all of them were there and they all the time did satsang all right but even renounced everything and they went only for the search of this truth there are so many 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 example not one or two and what is greater than bhog or enjoyment is always renunciation and sacrifice in no country a man of only indulgence and only his self enjoyment has become the ideal of that nation it is always a man of sacrifice only has become and that's why the upanishad says tyagena eke amrutattvam anashu it is only by renunciation that person attains immortality if ramchandra ji by force he had remained and not left the kingdom he would not have become rama and bharata he got that kingdom if he sacrifice therefore only he became greater so greater than bhoga is tyaga and this tyaga is very interesting in this renunciation your comforts or everything is not lost at all this is a peculiar gain this gain is such that there is no loss at all and this is the gain of the highest truth what we call the spiritual knowledge i will speak about the gain because everybody wants gain in life i want to become richer i want to gain something the only thing one does not want to gain is weight they want to lose that weight you know that's the only loss which is considered as gain it's very interesting now what is the gain in life labha i don't know what is this sound some construction site i think maybe doesn't matter as long as you keep listening to me it is fine 
in the bhagavad gita there is a very beautiful shloka he says the attainment of the self knowledge is such that it is the greatest gain and having gained which the person does not consider any gain greater than that ya labdhwa cha param labham manyate nadhikam tatah now see here the important word is having gained which in a at a given time when a person has got a desire for certain thing particular thing at that time that person never considers any great greater than that see when you do not have certain thing and when you desire that at at that time if you think there is no greater gain than that it is not very valid because after gaining that what is your thinking that is more important even a child also you know when he ask you for a toy the mother says i will give you that but you promise will you not you will not ask any more than that no no i will not ask any more than he will promise <laughs> how long until he gets that the moment he gets breaks it i want something more a different also but what geeta says ya labdhwa having gained which then he doesn't say that anything greater than that see our gains how they are when we get one thing it is lost also so our gain is subject to loss number one second thing our gain is such when we get one thing we lose something else you know a man poor man becomes rich man he loses something and do you know what is that a great joy he had as a poor man the greatest joy was nobody came to him for donation that joy goes away second thing as a poor man wherever he wanted to go sit in the park under a tree and other he could do that when you become rich you can't do that type of thing you know so in poverty also there is a joy and gain of its own thing you know but when in the gain worldly gains are such that when you gain one thing there is a loss of something else and this gain also is lost after some time but the gain of our spiritual knowledge of our own self which is infinite and blissful is such that itself will never get lost i can lose something else something other than myself but i can't lose my own self that is all the time there once i know it and own it it will not be lost and in the gain of that i will not lose something else because that joy and happiness is such in that happiness everything is already included that's why geeta says yasmin sitona dukhena guru na api vicharlete having got established in which he is not shaken by even huge mountain like sorrow also and a sanyasi can go and sit in the park also under a under a tree also he can live anywhere because he doesn't lose anything you know. how will you reach richer and richer richer and richer you will be <coughs> when you discover this wonderful thing that what i have the same thing i go on using for higher and higher purpose and also go on seeking what is higher and higher then i discover knowledge is something wonderful and among that knowledge also the knowledge of the absolute is the highest and as i told you our nature is that sat swarup it is chaitanya it is ananda it is the big infinite and that's why we cannot be satisfied with little little things we always all want to grow and more and more and more but how will we become that that is only by knowledge remember the only way of becoming infinity is either you become zero or you become all 
that's the most important thing to know but you want to become somebody in life either you have to become everybody or you have to become nobody that path of total surrender that's called in bhakti marg in our uh, shastra where a devotee says i am nothing oh lord you are only there and the path of knowledge the person says that infinite truth cannot be different from me why is it my own self and therefore that person becomes the richest goes on expanding but at the same time there is no attachment to anything so totally contented in the self outside wealth lot of wealth also is produced everything is there and it grows and that person then even after death that name of that person remains as a source of inspiration for countless people he lives forever remember he lives forever richer and richer and not only he becomes rich he enriches everywhere else his life also there are two types of great men one day somebody asked me and that was discussion was going on hindi and i think that that can be said only in hindi language and i everybody knows hindi so it is fine रामायण की बात थी मुझसे पूछा स्वामी जी भगवान रामचंद्र जी महान थे और रावण भी महान था रावण भी कोई ऑर्डिनरी आदमी तो नहीं था महान था दोनों की महानता में क्या फर्क था तो मैंने कहा उनकी महानता में जो फर्क है वो अभी आपने खुद ने बता दिया वो है कैसे मैंने कहा देखा आपने क्या कहा भगवान रामचंद्र जी महान थे और रावण के लिए क्या कहा और रावण भी महान था बहुवचन लगाया आपको ऐसा कहने का मन हुआ कि रावण जी भी महान थे और रावण क्या कि जी लगाने का जी भी नहीं करता दोनों फर्क हो गया और व्हाट वॉज द डिफरेंस दोनों में क्या डिफरेंस है महानता में मालूम है रावण की महानता कैसी थी सबको छोटा करके और खुद बड़ा बनना है टू पुल एवरीबडी डाउन टू पुल एवरीबडी डाउन एंड देन यू वांट टू ग्रो एंड यू बिकम वांट टू बिकम ग्रेट दैट इज वन काइंड ऑफ ग्रेटनेस वेर एज रामचंद्र जी ग्रेटनेस क्या थी कि एवरी स्मॉल बीइंग एंड पर्सन आल्सो वाज मेड ग्रेट बाय हिम इंक्लूडिंग मंकीज दर्शक गोस्वामी तुलसीदास जी से प्रभु तरु तर कपी डार पर ते किए आप समान तुलसी कहुन राम से साहिब सील निधान भगवान इज सिटिंग एट द फुट ऑफ ए ट्री एंड मंकीज आर सिटिंग ऑन द टॉप ऑफ ए ट्री वाट इन आइडिया इज द मंकीज वाट दे ओनली गो फ्रॉम ट्री टू ट्री जंप वॉट इज द बिग थिंग अबाउट दे बट भगवान से ते किए आप समान Bhagwan raised even those monkeys to the status of divinity, and that is his greatness. So, a great person is one who is not himself only is great, but makes every small person also great. And such a person lives for ever, reaches richer and richer. And the one who makes everybody small and then want to grow, that person. that is hated only and even if his name there it cannot become become a source of inspiration so this is the only way of living for ever and richer and richer yasmin jivati jivanti bhavah so atra jivati vayam se kim na kurvanti chanchwa swodar puranam this shloka says यस्मिन जीवति जीवंती बहवा दैट पर्सन इन हुज लिविंग काउंटलेस पीपुल डिराइव इंस्पिरेशन टू लिव दैट पर्सन अलोन लिव्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड ही लिव्स फॉर एवर 
otherwise to fill up one's own bellies even the birds also fill up their own bellies even animals also fill up their own bellies it is not called living so the simple thing is the secret this is of living forever and how to live richer and richer is the most beautiful topic of this spirituality now when were people hear the word spirituality also many of them frightened some people think it is meant for retired people someone told me it is for retarded people also such kind of notions also they have got but what is spirituality that also i must touch upon that quickly because that also topic related to this only spirituality does not lie in in particular action but spirituality lies in being what you are it is being and remaining rooted in that being then all that what you do becomes spiritual i'll give an example what is it being and doing suppose someone says that he is a singer so you can ask that person please sing a song he can sing he is a yogi who knows many many different kinds of asanas you can ask him to perform and show an asana but suppose about some person it is said he is an honest man so can we ask him show some honesty you now please show me is honesty a particular action tell me it is not a particular action but if that person is honest that honesty will be there in all action whether what he thinks what he feels what he speaks what he does then everything is honest if a person is a very loving and kind person then he is thinking feeling talking doing everything is kind in the same way if person is spiritual then everything is spiritual of him but what is spirituality ha ha spirituality is the vision of the oneness of all beings that you are one with all there is no one different from you separate from you when you feel that you are oneness with all more and more then you become spiritual and spiritual and then in one line i can say then you learn to look at your life as a whole and you live a whole life you do not fragment you do not go on dividing the whole life this is my personal life this is my public life uh, there is no such kind of thing there is only one life and you are the same then in all so just as a truthful person is truthful in everything it is not a particular doing that is called as truthful so when person feels his oneness then he cannot cheat anybody because he cheating someone is cheating oneself only so that vision of oneness that is called the vision spiritual vision and when you have that then you live forever and richer and richer the topic can be just expanded more and more but i think i must stop here now because the time is there for you to ponder over this and then we'll have a little question answer session after that right that's what the program is now our anil ji will guide thank you very much